Oh yeah, and uh, Porter, where are you, my friend? Porter, oh, all eyes on you. Hi, everybody. I uh, realized earlier today when I was taking care of Thought you'd get me with that, didn't you, Mick? <laughs> uh, anyway, before I was rudely interrupted, but that was a good one. Um, I was sitting there taking care of some important business today, and uh, I realized I hadn't written Mark's best man speech. So I reached for the uh, closest sheets of paper I had, <laughs> and I started writing. <laughs> um, anyway, I should have this memorized, but... There's a lot of it, and it's been, you know, a lot of years. So I'm going to... Approaching 30, anyway. Okay, so just bear with me, and uh, I hope we all enjoy this. I've known Mark since the summer before eighth grade. About 30. I know, he's cute. So I thought long and hard about what I was going to say here today because there's so much. And then I thought, you know, what would Mark not want me to say? <laughs> and that was a lot more fun. So, so, what I'm not gonna talk about here tonight are the things like Mark winning Paperboy of the Year, <laughs> or, or the fact that his wonderful father, Dale, delivered all those papers. <laughs> um, where am I? Oh, yeah. I'm also not going to talk about Mark's recent hunting trip to Alaska with Brad when uh, they went caribou hunting. And when it came time to kill the beastly animal, they had to have Mark's little sister, Amy, clean it. <laughs> Those two manly men. It's so icky. <laughs> and I'm certainly not going to talk about Mark's uh, trepidation when he moved in with Mary because he had to leave his hetero life partner, Oscar, <laughs> after, after 18 years of domesticated bliss. <laughs> <laughs> that was a tough one. That was a tough one. <laughs> uh, where am I at? <laughs> There's so much. <laughs> um, and I'm certainly not going to talk about the one thing Mark definitely would not want me to talk about, which is one magical day at 1801 Bluegrass Circle when the light was shining just right and I beat Mark in an abdomen flexing contest. <laughs> true story, true story, true story. Let's do it right now. <laughs> and for anyone who's known Mark for five minutes knows, he's really proud of his abs. <laughs> All right. I'm not here to talk about any of that stuff. What I'm here to talk about is a story that I think reflects the kind of person that Mark really is. And it's a story that most of you probably don't know. Um, certainly, Teddy and I know. And it's a story that goes back to ninth grade. And I'm going to read a little bit, so bear with me. In ninth grade, we decided to play high school football for our C team. And uh, <laughs> Our team was awful, and it was one of the last games of the season, and we were losing, and it was against the other worst team in the conference, and uh, we're down, and it's late in the game, and our quarterback drops back, 
and throws a beautiful long bomb to Mark. Mark was a wide receiver. And Mark's running, and it's right on the money, and he looks, and it, pff, right to the ground. We're like, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, the sun was in your eyes? <laughs> all right, all right. Sun was in his eyes. So anyway, you know, the game proceeds, and now it's the fourth quarter, and we're losing 6-0. Same thing happens, another long bomb, boom. Quarterback throws it, whew, right between Mark's arms. Again, we lose 6-0. Mark dropped two touchdown passes. And it's just, it's just, I'm sure you guys have not heard this one. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> um, the coach after the game tells Mark, you're never going to play varsity football at Diamond High. That was our high school. And I remember Mark coming to me and saying, Porter, coach just told me, are you crying? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it all worked out. <laughs> He's like, Porter, coach just told me I'm never going to make varsity. I'm like, whoa, just don't worry about it. So how's Mark respond to that? By lying down, of course. From that moment on, every time Teddy and I went to pick up Mark to go wherever, work out, do whatever, he gets out of the shower, he lies on the ground, and he starts throwing a football up in the air and catching it. And while he throws it up, he's primping his hair, catching it. And seriously, you guys, he almost caught every ball. So, after that, Mark proceeds to actually make varsity football at our high school, and uh, he caught everything thrown his way. Jumping, leaping, diving, in traffic, one-handed, he caught everything. Right, Ted? Ted was a quarterback. Mark caught everything. Mark... Mark made amazing catch after amazing catch. So many so, in fact, he was the first person ever, you probably heard about this part, he was the first person ever from Alaska to make All-American. So anyway, why am I telling you that? Well, I want his new bride to know that no matter what happens, when times get tough, you can depend on your husband. He will dig down deep and he will do whatever it takes to make sure things work out. And to Mary, to Mark, you've made the best catch of your life. Best, best man speech ever. <laughs> I love you guys.